Glory be to God. And we dealt with this subject, the return of Nimrod. So, so I believe a lot of people around the world will be enjoying this. Uh, and have been enjoying it, actually. So it is important that we actually get to a point where we realize that the things that are happening on this earth, they are not random. Yes. And I will start by saying coincidence is when God chooses to remain anonymous. Yes, so I want you to understand that the Bible had already seen it. God is called the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. That word Alpha and Omega does not mean the beginning and the end. It actually means the one who starts the beginning after wow. finishing the end. Wow. So if you look at the sign of Alpha, it is the sign of a cow. With his horns. Yes, the word A. The way it's written in the, in the Hebrew. It is actually a cow and horns. In other words, the God was touched by cow sacrifices. Mm. Until he sacrifices his own son. Mm -hmm. But when you see that, it opposes exactly what I just said. That God starts with the end. Yeah. But if you realize that the Bible says... For Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. Let's go, let's go. So before animal sacrifice, Jesus was already crucified. Yes, so what you see is simply a repetition. But God has already finished. All right now. Let's go. You can take your seats. You can take your seats. You can take your seats. And learn something. Learn something. Baro Televo Karino Zon Falada Cecia. Begin to pray wherever you are around the world. Begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for revelation to enter their hearts. For an apocalypse to happen. For revelation to be loaded in their spirits. That increase will be recorded on their behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that they are not caught unawares. For we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. We know by revelation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to his holy name. Amen. Both now and forever. Amen. More darling forevermore. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Now, so, you understand that the book of Matthew is not silent. It tells us that the book of Matthew says this way. Matthew 24 verse number 37. Just as the days of Noah were. Ah. I wish I had people. Let's go. Let's go. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Yes, sir. And we dealt with it when we were uh, looking at the first part of the return of Nimrod. Yes, sir. The coming back of Nimrod. Yes. I mean, remember that. Yes, sir. All right. So this is part two. And remember, I'm not, I'm not intending on having part three, part four, part five, but we can actually go to part nine, nine to nine. Let's go. But we're not doing so. We just want to kind of give you... The, the purpose of this is to show you that God is not being caught unawares. Mm. Everything you see in the Bible is already being fulfilled. There is a parallel to it. Now hear this. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So what we did in part one was to go back to the days of Noah. Yes, sir. And found him drunk and realized, you see, and... After he walked from, he awoke from his drunkenness, yes, yes. he realized he had died by experiential seeing. Mm. <laughs> he had died. He saw what his son had done to him. Yeah. And the word he had died, we find it as well when, when uh, God says to Abraham, now I know you love me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In other words, I had not seen it physically. I had a certain spiritual knowing that you actually love me. But when I said sacrifice your son, now I have a yada. Mm, you, you're not getting me. Before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. The word knew there is also yada. It means physical experience. So when the Bible says, and he knew what his son had done to him, that means there was physical evidence yes, wow. of the seeing he had done. I wish I had people let's now. Go, let's go. Ah, Let's go. there was physical evidence of what had happened. So we, we, we dealt with the homosexuality, the gay community, uh, and understood that the spirit of Nimrod is the return of these things. Ah. Now hear this. But one thing you need to understand is this. 
that the same Nimrod, if you look in uh, ancient history, there are very few articles concerning him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everybody who came in those days knew exactly who he was. He was the enemy of God. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing you can hear about the devil in the Bible, but you don't hear a lot about the devil. Yeah, right. This is the reason why we are... We, 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 we minister on this uh, uh, thing of, um, of Lucifer, mm -hmm. the new series, Lucifer. Yes. You can check it. Yes, right. Now, in that way, what we are doing is to try and show you the hidden side of it that you have not seen, something that is latent. You can't see it. So we reveal it through the pages of the Bible. Let's go, sir. Right. Let's go. The pages you have never read will kind of show you this is where it says about the devil, what it yeah, says about yeah, the devil, and where it says yeah, yeah. this. So, so what I'm trying to say is Nimrod is not really mentioned quite a, you know, in, in, in a lot of verses, he's not mentioned. No, no, no. So you can rely on extracurricular information. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then when you go there, you realize that the information is very little because he is using other names other than Nimrod. So when you start searching through the Bible, you realize the king of Babel, he is Babel. But the Bible has already told us that he built Babel as his city. So anytime he talks about the king of Babylon, we know it is Nimrod. You're getting the point now. Uh, he, he, is the, he is the one who created Babel. <laughs> and Babel comes from bubbling forth, his speech. I want to show you. Remember when he built those towers and they began to have confusion of speech? You understand where? Well, you understand where? So when he was in Babel, are you hearing this? Yes, sir. Ah. Let's go, let's go. When he was in Babel, what began to happen was he married a woman. Mm. But the woman he married, we will see it when we get back to, to the book, or when we go to the book of Revelation, and is mentioned as that great war in Babylon. Jezebel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, you're missing it. You're missing yes, The mother of harlots. Yes, yes, yes. So we definitely know if she is in Babylon and she's the mother of Babylon, that definitely means the father of Babylon should be there. Yes, 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 yes. But history actually tells us that Nimrod married his mother. Yes. Huh? No, you didn't hear me now. Yes, sir. I'm about to go there a little bit before yes, we go there. We don't want to be talking a lot. So, so, so they, she brought a child called Tammuz. Mm -hmm. And the child called Tammuz, you know, you might say, oh, where is Tammuz? It's there in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 8. Yes, you, you know, the women cried and mourned for Tammuz. So we know for sure that it is there. So when you look at that, now you realize something. It was an illegitimate child that she then said, when, when Nimrod died, she then said, Look, everyone around the world realize one thing, that Nimrod is dead, but he has come back now and impregnated me with a child called Tammuz. So now the first virgin birth is confirmed. Yes, sir. No, no, no. But it's not a virgin birth. Yes, sir. It's a phony virgin birth. I want you to show me some, show, show, show. Uh, put on the screen, uh, if you can, the, just, just one picture. Just one picture. One picture. La Roosevelt Kolaniman. I want to show you something. I wish you could hear what I'm about to give you. Because the things that you are going to hear today, uh, you, you have to, to it's, it's, it's one picture. I gave you in twos and I gave you one picture. That's what I said. Do you see that? Go back. Go back to the one picture I gave you. See the one on, the, on this picture? Do you see that picture? Yes, sir. That is not Mary. That's Tammuz. And Sermiz, which is the mother, the wife of Nimrod. No, no, you're missing that. Yes, sir. Then bring the two pictures together. Now you see now, one one side, that's the Christian, Mary of Christianity. The other one, the goddess. Ceramis, the mother of Tammuz. Now, if you don't want to believe this, let me get you to Jeremiah. Do you understand? Do you understand that in the Roman Catholic Church, we call 
or rather they call Mary the Queen of Heaven? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you've ever been in the Roman Catholic Church, you understand yes, this. Yes, Jeremiah 14. Yes, Jeremiah 14. In fact, Jeremiah 44, verse number 10. Raluk is in Navon quickly yes, because of time. Jeremiah 44, verse 10. Mm -hmm. They are not humbled mm -hmm. even unto this day. Yes. Neither have they feared mm. nor walked in my law nor in my statutes. They're not doing anything. I set before you and before your fathers. What do they do? Verse number 17. So you get that. Verse 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth mm. forth out of our own mouth mm. to burn incense unto mm. the queen of heaven oh. and to pour So according to Jeremiah, the offerings. queen of heaven is evil. So when you are burning incense to Mary, you are burning incense to this woman here, who is the prostitute. So all brothers and sisters at the Roman Catholic Church thinking they are good doing, they are very sincere, but they are sincerely wrong. So they missed it when they said Mary is the queen of heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But remember, in every darkness you enter, as long as you sacrifice, yes, yes, there is a God or a goddess to receive your sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. And it's definitely not Mary. Go 18. Verse 18 of Jeremiah 44. Yes. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven <laughs> and to pour out drink offerings. What are they her, doing? Yeah. They are burning what? It's incense. incense. If there is one church right on this That's earth correct. that is so blatant and so open yes. about drinking wine, yes. drinking alcohol, oh. smoking, oh. and a priest can preach for you, and after service they stand outside and... That's right. Mm. 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 Which churches do you know burn incense? Catholic. 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 <laughs> Are they going to heaven? I told you before. This is not a, about going to heaven or not going to heaven. There are people on this earth who are sincere. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who subscribe to some of the Roman tenets, Roman Catholic tenets, but they are not following everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. So in this way, we are saying the coming back of Nimrod is the rise of the influence of the Roman Catholic Church. Oh. <laughs> In every way, every country you go to, every including climate change, yes. the poster boy for yes. climate change is the Pope. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Even the Muslims in February 2, right? February, February, the February, uh, 2nd of February to the 10th of February, there was a, there was a thing in Abu Dhabi. Oh, yes. The Islam Council invited the Pope. That's right who called for all other religious leaders to come there. In fact, they are headquarters right now for, for inter-religious cohesion. Mm -hmm. It's in Abu Dhabi, a Muslim city. Come on. Do you understand why the cap what is the capital city of UAE? It's Abu Dhabi. Yes. Mm, that's right. What about more main foreign? More foreigners are in Dubai because you are allowed to do anything. In Abu Dhabi, if you steal, your hand is cut because Sharia law works. In the place where Islam is its highest power in the UAE, they put the headquarters for international cohesion of religions. My God. And the Pope went there in February to address them and call them my brothers. Oh, and yes, one yes. statement he made is, I adjure all Christians yes, 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 yes. to not try to convert Muslims yes, yes. because they are our brothers. Mm. Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go somewhere. I'm about to go somewhere. Verse number 19. Verse number 19. Yes, sir. Jeremiah mm -hmm. 44, verse 19. Mm -hmm. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, mm. did we make her cakes to worship her? These are victuals. Mm. Wow. In other words, every time I stand and we have all these things, what happens? There is feasting. There is eating. Mm. But one thing people don't understand is the same Queen was Ishtar, a goddess Ishtar. So she then changed and said, I'm no longer Semiramis. I'm now a goddess because, look, the gods have impregnated me. So now it was time to worship the woman. Now, I said something right there, and I know you missed that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the reason why every movement is now female. Uh, Me Too movement, this one movement, this one movement. Feminism, we should be equal. And imagine they say we should be equal to men. Forget about that. I believe in equal rights. 
But I believe men have got their rights, women have got their rights. All right. Look at what is happening right now. They are not fighting. Listen, they are not fighting for inequality to be addressed. No, no sir. 99% of all workers in bricklaying are men. That's That's right. Right. There is no pressure group to make it equal. That's right. Over 90% of many, many, many armies are men on the forefront. Nobody is fighting except a few ones. Nobody is fighting for equal rights there. No. That we also want to be on the forefront. No. That means you know the fight is not about equal rights. Yes. Right. It is the issue of power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they only fight about to be in Congress, yeah. to be also a president, yes. Yes. to be a minister yes. Yes. in parliament. Yes. Yes. What about bricklaying? Yeah. Yeah. Because the equality should be shared across all the work forces. All you want, you want equality? No problem. It is all coming because of what? Power. The desire for power is the spirit of Nimrod. <laughs> so you can hear someone say, yeah, we are all equal, men and women. Yes, we are. But the moment you enter into a marriage, you're no longer equal. Mm, come on. Yes, we're equal. Mm, why can't we just also be paid the same salary? Let me tell you right now, let me address it so that you understand why you're not paid the same salary, men and women. There is no pay gap. It's a lie. Come on. Come on. Break it down, sir. It's a big lie. Oh, There's no pay gap. You get into, listen to me. The great Jordan Peterson, who is uh, a very, very learned man who is accepted now and a conservative, he mentioned something very important. And he has been doing clinical psychology for years and has got the facts laid up. He says something very important. There is nothing called pay gap. That's right. Why? Because many women are agreeable than men. Oh, you didn't get that. Let me give you his number one. That means many women, when they are told this is your salary, they are likely to say yes. When men are told this is your salary, they say no. So the salary is there, mm. yeah. but you're just more agreeable. Yeah, 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 yeah. And men don't get pregnant. Come on. Right. Yeah. Come on. And when you get pregnant, especially in this country, you go for two, for two years. You can yes. go for two years. Yes. 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 Sitting at home. Yes. Yes. While it's you are there at home, feeding your little baby, that little rascal, what happens is, <laughs> what happens is, men are fighting to be at the top. Yes. Men are fighting. Men are willing to fight. Men are willing to fight for 28 hours in 24 hours. Yes, yes, yes. Elon Musk says he's doing a what? A 70 hour week? 70 hour week to 80 hour week, according to him. He said it's not safe. It's painful. And clinical psychologists have actually realized that most men, are willing to do it. So there is a lot of competition among men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you try to go to that level, what happens is you will be beaten. Yeah. So when you are beaten, you then forward your femininity and you say, give me a salary like him because I'm a woman. Ah. No, sir, you, you, you're no woman. You're not working like this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is the same thing that is happening in Hollywood now. Yeah. Where if you don't act right, just because you are black, you need, a, you need an Oscar. Right. Mm. Right. Right. Come on. I thought it was because you're a good actor. Yeah. Right. How can it be because you're of your color? Oh. If it is of your color, then we have to go to a country like Togo or somewhere yeah. where people are really black exactly. and they just win because they are black. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Right. Go to South Sudan or something. Oh. And every award will be a South Sudanese thing. Do you understand the, the mentality? Now they say, we need equal opportunities oh, at the Oscars. Talent. So what happened to talent now? Yeah. Yeah. My kids go to, to a very, very uh, upmarket school there. Yeah, very expensive one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But trust me, they come back with medals. Mm. Yeah. That's right. And if you go back to, to school, you realize everyone was given a medal. <laughs> 
Number one is a medal, number two is a medal, number five is a medal, number eight is a medal, number nine is a medal, number 40 is a medal. <laughs> Why? Because it's no longer about the things you think of. Hey, hear this. I'm about to shock you in a few minutes. Now, the same God used to be goddess, rather, all right? Used to be celebrated at this parade. He, she was the goddess. Can we remove that? Can we remove that? She was the goddess of, uh, of, uh, of um, equality. But being a goddess of equality, she was also a goddess of parades. Wow. Now, you didn't hear me. All right, all right, all right. All right. Ah. Okay. ah, you're not getting me. I knew you were, you were, you were not going to get it. At those parades, even St. Jerome wrote about it. Jerome wrote about it. At those parades, men would dress as women. Oh. And women would dress. This is ancient history. I don't know if you are getting this now. Are you getting this? So this is the beginning of transsexualism. Cross-dressers. And they would move in town, women wearing as men, and men wearing as women. Come on. No wonder the Bible says, no man shall wear clothes that pertain to women. women. That's right. And no women that pertain to... Amen. Because the Bible knew these people here. You understand, in a few minutes you understand. In, in a few minutes you get this. You, you will get this. I know you're not getting it a lot. You're, you're not getting it. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Now, the name of this, he, she was called Masha Ishta. Do you know what that means? Rainbow Queen. Okay. Now, I don't want to be saying nothing right there. You're getting it now. No wonder the lesbians and the gays are forwarding their rainbow. You missed that. You just missed that, right? And what is the rainbow saying? The rainbow is saying, for all the earth genesis, people became corrupt in their flesh. And their imagination was continually evil. And the angels slept with the daughters of men. And God said, because of the corrupt nature of what they were doing, which includes lesbianism, yeah. cross-dressing, all these things. God said, I'll put a rainbow that I'll not destroy again. Yeah. And what did they do? They said, let's take the rainbow. Because it's a sign that our rebellion will not be revenged. Oh. Nah, you didn't. Wow. No, you, you see, you're missing that. Wow. Wow. I, I know you missed that one. Wow. So when you see the rainbow, you think, why did they choose the rainbow? <laughs> And since this Ishtar was not a real goddess, what she would do was to steal the other principles from other gods yes. and use it. So here she stole the rainbow. No Christian can use the rainbow as color of anything now. Because the moment you wear, you say our church uniform is a rainbow color. That even in ancient history, Ishtar was even written, she is mouth colored and the eyes are like rainbow. <laughs> I don't know if you are getting this now. In fact, there is one hymn in the ancient times in those days that was said, the Holy One, the people of summer parade before you. They play the sweet owl drums before you. They parade before you. It was a time of demonstrations. A time of showcasing who you were. So Nimrod is influencing every pressure group you see on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you see the pressure groups on earth, you are seeing Nimrod at yes, work. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So in your head, you are hearing me too. You go like, yes, me too movement, me too movement. Oh, yeah. And every woman thinks, me too movement is brilliant. Let's go for it. This, the Bible says it should happen like that. It says about the Antichrist in the end. Read Revelation. Yes. The Antichrist in the end will shift it. He says he will agree with everything you want. So you will say he's a nice one. Mm. Look at the laws have changed. Mm. The laws now favor women. Yeah, then laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to South Africa there. A woman just needs to say you raped her. You're in yeah. jail. Yeah. 
No, no investigation. Yeah, they will investigate while you are behind bars. <laughs> if you say you were raped by a woman, they will look at you and like, <laughs> are you still okay up there? <laughs> are, you, are you flowing? Yes, sir. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. But some of these things you might say, Prophet, when did this happen? Here it is. Yeah. So, um, these ancient writings of Jerome, of St. Jerome, said it happened in a place, in a, in a month called Eunia. The month of Eunia is the month this thing happened. <sighs> it is the month of June. Okay. Juneteenth is given to black people. And I told you in part one, they are trying to get to black people. Yes. Give them some deaths that we know we deserve better. But they give us a name in the month of June. When is the month of black white people? Where is the month of all these Caucasian people? How do you really get our history to a month? Then we have black history month. Huh? A rich history like black people history. You relegate you to 60 days, to 30 days. Where is your history? You're not hearing me at all. I know what you're thinking right now, but here is where it will shock you. Let's go, sir. Let's go. Let's go. The parade for LGBTQRSTUV is June every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. That's right. Right, that's right. Yet, Semiranus, that's the Pride one, the Pride week, is in June. I don't know if I can show you something. Let's go deeper, sir. Listen to me now. The first case called Lawrence versus Texas. Okay? Are you getting this? Yes, Where he said, now gays are supposed to marry. Happened on the 26th of June. Oh my God. No, you're not hearing me at all. Come on. In 2013, that is in 2003. In 2013, the striking, striking down of the Marriage Act, 26th of June. No, you, you're not hearing me at all. In 2000, this, this law is actually called United States versus Windsor. In 2015, the Overgirl versus Wages, all states to issue marriage certificates, marriage license to same sex marriage, 26th of June. Do you know why? Because it hinges on the solstice. This is the pagan days of worship. And it is also the same month as the wife. Of Nimrod. Uh -huh. As if that's not enough. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. All 50 states made same sex adoption of kids legal in 2017, right this year. So it allowed sexes, same sexes to be on the same birth certificate. You know, you would say father and mother. Now they allowed mother and mother, and father and ma father. And same sex can adopt 2017. Guess when? <laughs> Which dead? You know what I'm talking about. There is no way. This is not a joke. The spirit of Nimrod signals the coming back of Christ. <laughs> I know you are not getting me at all. You are not getting me. And what is right now? What is right now? We have what is called the, in fact, read Mark 3.27. Mark 3.27. Mark 3, verse 27. Uh -huh. No man can enter into a strong man's house mm -hmm. and spoil his goods, mm -hmm. except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his, his house. His house. And what are we in the midterm? Fighting for the house in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whosoever who controls the house con can control the law. Oh. And if you look at this, there were three, three, three entities. One was the one that steals. Another one was the possessor. Another one was the destroyer. So there is the destroyer. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> then there was the killer. Who is actually, if you look at the word kill, it is the word enchantress as well is there. The power of the enchantress. And all these three were demonic entities. 
John 10.10. 10. Right, right. John 10.10. 10. Yes, sir. That's why it says, if you don't tithe, you steal from me. Then it says, you rob. That's right. John 10. All you are hearing is rob, steal. Yeah, yeah. So in your head, yeah, it's yeah. robbing and stealing. Yeah, yeah. No, you're using demonic entities. Are you hearing me? Yes, are you getting this? Let's go, sir. Let's go, sir. So you are, you are hearing demonic entities speaking. That's why you are refusing to do what I've just told you. Read it. John 10.10. 10. Mm -hmm. The thief cometh not but for to steal. The thief cometh not but to? Kill, to steal mm -hmm. to, and to kill mm -hmm. and to destroy. And to destroy. Mm -hmm. To steal, kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. And I've told you three entities. So the Bible is actually telling you what the thief will come to do. He will do exactly the characteristics of Nimrod. I, I don't know if you're getting this. Yes. Can you use the name gay to mean happy now? No. no, no. It's gone. no. Can you move around and say, I'm, I'm gay? No. No. What has happened? Yes. Somebody has stolen your words. Yes. 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 They were called queer. Now you can't. You say, if you say you're queer, even the person will be like, even if they know they're queer, they'll be like, mm -mm. remove that word. So you see, what Ishtar would do, or the wife of Nimrod would do, is to steal identities, to steal concepts, because she's not a real goddess. You're missing that. You're missing that. Imagine John 26, 2017. Are you getting this? All sexes appear on, on birth certificate. And same sex can adopt a child. 2003, the first case ever, Lawrence versus Texas, June 26. United States versus winter, 2013, 26 June. 2015, Overgirl versus Rogers, June 16, 2015. All states to each marriage license. All states, it became legal. Wow. I know I'm talking to myself now. I'm, am I talking to myself right now? I'm talking to you. So in that month of June, in the ancient times, the spirits would possess people to act in such a way that it would be okay to do the things that they were doing. All right. All right. You're, not, you're not getting me, so right, right, right. I'll try to pretend you are, you're, not, you, you're hearing me. So there was cross-dressing, and this is the month of, then the black people were given Juneteenth. And not only that, it was signed into law by Biden. Whew. I wish I had time for that. <laughs> Am I talking to you or something? Ah, I don't know. I don't know if I can. I, I, I'm trying to think. Is it okay for me to do it? It's okay, sir. Do it, sir. It's okay, sir. Bring it on, sir. Uh, I don't want you to go home wondering. Rakus keleme no man revelugus evredus and a giro bahandis. Ah. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I want to do it justice so that I don't really give you something you have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Ah. Anyway, I don't want to be saying it. Because sometimes you have to be wise in how you deliver it. So anyway, so imagine the rise of these rights that people think is rights, mm, yes. but they don't know they are now playing with demonic entities. Wow. So demonic entities are now controlling the world. 
without people realizing. Did you notice in part one we said he said something? He said, aren't all my princes kings? In other words, I'm using presidencies. Presidents. I'm using the, the presidency of any country, and I'm using that, and I'm putting it forward. He said, none raised their wing or even peeped, peeped or said a sound when I locked them. I know you're not getting it. So, so maybe you don't have this. I wanted to say this. George Floyd died end of month, of May. Next day was June. And the demonstration started in June, yeah. led by a black revolution yes, yes. that were lesbian. Yes. I don't know if, I, if I'm. I'm yes, yes, yes. Yes. I don't know if you're getting this or you're not getting this. This is too much. This is too much. Yes, to me, he was murdered. Mm. But when he was murdered, guess what? The enemy took advantage yeah. fast. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, right there. Fast. And when the enemy, when you are in a deep trouble and everyone is not supporting your dead husband, you tend to go and just hijack any system that hijacks your problem yes. so that they can help you. Yeah. Right. When you are in trouble, even your enemy can be your helper. Mm. Right. Then you realize later on, if, you, if you're going to be awake, yeah. you realize later on, oh, something is, is off. Mm. <laughs> Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Look at the setup. You, you are killed today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's bad. For anybody to kill a person, that's bad. But look at what happens the following morning. They were in. Demonstrations. In Nigeria, there was SARS movement. What is it? I think it was SARS, right? And the man of God spoke. My father spoke and said, this isn't the devil. Right. But for people to understand it, they can't understand it because in their minds, this is, this is a righteous cause. Yeah, we yeah, are demonstrating yeah, for yeah. something that is really important here. Yeah. But he did not look at the matching. He looked at the ones who started it. Yeah. This is where the problem is with a lot of black people that support this Black Lives Matter. In their minds, if you oppose Black Lives Matter, you are evil. You are a white people lover. Yeah, why I love white people. And I love black people. I love pink, polka dot, yellow, anyone. All people. But the point is, just because you don't support the movement, it doesn't mean, say, you don't support the cause. That's right. That's right. It's demonic to think if you don't support Black Lives Matter, then you don't support black people. Mm. <laughs> Isn't it? How easy it is. For the race blacks that we mentioned in part number one, that the same race who are called black people were in slavery. That's right. And were removed from slavery by a different party. Do you know the party that put them in slavery? <laughs> the Democratic Party. <laughs> it is the part of Trump that actually pulled them out. Yes, 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 yes. But where are the blacks now? Oh. Back in the. In, uh, <laughs> And every time they are told, yes, you, you, they don't like you. So we begin to kill each other. Why? Because there are no resources in the, all we are told, come and vote for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we line up and queue up to vote for them. Do you understand right now the president who is there has the highest record of putting black people in, in jail? Right. Them and Clinton. That's it. Highest number. They changed the law to put more black brothers in jail. Who are we supporting? Them. Mm -hmm. And who do we oppose? <laughs> the conservatives. Yeah. The Republicans. Yeah. They're evil. They don't like us. Look at what they're saying. Yeah, I understand what they're saying looks racist, but look at what these ones are doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go with anybody saying something than somebody who is li literally doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if somebody is just accusing you and opposing you. Yes, sir. And yes. somebody actually doing it. Mm. 
I'm talking to myself. Let me just let me show you something. Second Kings 18. Mali rombe ne gira baala vasuve. Era la mondesca. Ah, le cusca bale suna mande calisu. Mm. Are you there? Yes, sir. Second Kings mm -hmm. 18. 29. Verse 29. I want you to say something. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thus said the king, mm. let not Hezekiah deceive you. That says the king of Assyria. He uh, will say, don't be deceived by the king. Mm -hmm. For he shall not be able to deliver you out of his hand. Mm. Verse 30. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying... Uh -uh. The Don't Lord. even trust in God. So the time of the Assyrian, this Nimrod spirit, oh my God. This time is a moment where you look at things and you go, wait a minute, they are actually removing you from worshiping God. Yes, yes, yes. But they are not doing it the way you think. They are telling you the Bible is just, it's a lot of stories. They, they really don't mean the way they, they it's, it's an example. It's, it's not like it happened, happened, happened. Yes. And they tell you, God is not going to save you. It is the time now where scientists are telling you things are not, it's not true. If atheism is correct, it shouldn't bother me. Yes, yes, yes. You should not have the, the, these, all these guys writing books to let others become atheists. Mm, that's right. Exactly. That's no, no, right. you're missing this. Right. You're missing this. Since God does not exist, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. I'm stupid. Yeah. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm mentally disturbed. What is your problem? Yeah, what's your problem? <laughs> there is no hell. There is no heaven. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. seem to like this yeah. fake God you have. Yeah. Why would you write a book? Why would you go on seminars to try and tell people, don't believe in God? Mm. Yes. And yet, yes. He is not real to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it they are not writing about the non existence of Father Christmas? They know he's not there. They, yeah, <laughs> they, should, they should be more. They should be <laughs> campaigning. <laughs> I'm sure kids are being affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because grown up men, yeah. we know if we are believing in a fairy god or. We, we know, we know. Then you write, you even appear on TV and say, these people that say this, they are not thinking correctly. Don't worry about me. I'm old enough to know what I'm doing. Yes. Maybe it makes me sleep well at night uh -huh. to believe in this fake God. So re relax. Yeah. That's when you realize atheism is a religion. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it requires more faith to believe in a no God yeah. than what we are believing in now. It's a lot of faith. To believe that there's no God? Yeah. Do you want to stand that this whole world? Listen, one of the top uh, foolies in this country went home to be with the Lord if he managed to. He was an atheist. Mm -hmm. And he dealt with, listen, Albert Einstein himself yes, yes, yes. got to a point where he said, this world, yes, this earth, correct. this universe has a beginning. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is a beginning, it is a beginner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But guess what they did? They put the Big Bang. And like I told you before, I believe in the Big Bang. Right. Right. God right. spoke and bang, yeah. it happened. Yeah. I believe this. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in the Big Bang. Yeah. Who made the Big Bang? Yeah. Who made it bang? Yeah. 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 They say, no, 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 it's another, it's a subatom particle. Where did the subatom particle come to? Yeah. How did it know to create me? Yeah. It's as stupid as somebody seeing a book and we're all like, how did this book come about? You say, oh, an explosion in the printing press. <laughs> an explosion. <laughs> Where did the ink come from? It just came from nowhere and just yeah. Yeah. formed a letter. Yeah. <laughs> You see, it requires more faith to believe in that nonsense. You see a book written, oh, all of you, when you see a book, and you always go like this, to try and figure out who wrote it. You look at, an, in, at this universe, 
that even the components in your eye yes. are too massive. The synapses in your head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If the points are made, listen, if we tell the cells and tell them, put the synapses together, they will go to the moon and come back mm. just one by the distance. Just so that you think right. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you are using 10% of your DNA capabilities. Oh, yeah. In fact, of course, some of you less. Ninety <laughs> percent is junk DNA. Yes. And then it just came by mistake, just boom, just happened. So it requires more faith. I'll show you something. Let's, go, let's, go, let's, go. let's read it. Read it. Two Kings eighteen Two Kings 29. verse twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Thus said King, let no Hezekiah deceive you. Mm, twenty nine. Twenty. Thirty. 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 Neither let Hezekiah make you trust Don't in the Lord. Don't let him trust in the Lord. Say. Ah! Do, do, you need to tell, do you need to tell people not to trust in the Lord? No. If you're going to do what you're going to do, yeah. do it. Do it. Do it. Mm. So I'm saying, me, I beat up people. I beat up. Another guy was uh, attacking me as he was preaching. He said, don't listen to this angel guy. Or listen to him. In the city sports center, he went there. No prophecy comes out of This man is not even a prophet. Just a pastor from a, a denomination. It's not even found of a church. He said, don't listen to that angel of yours. I can prophesy now. He kept on threatening, kept yeah. on threatening. Never prophesy, just threaten. Yeah. <laughs> When he went back now to open his, his uh, page to preach, he said, uh, pray for me. The devil has stolen my message. <laughs> do you understand what God can do? Let's go. 31. 31. Um, Hearken not to Hezekiah. Don't listen to Hezekiah. For thus said the king of Assyria. What is the king of Assyria saying? Make an agreement with me. Ah, all you nations, just let's make an agreement. Uh -huh. All right, 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 right. And what do we do? Buy a present mm. and come out to me. I will give you a present. It happened a few years ago. <laughs> I'm not going to say where. And then, so you already know. Uh -huh. And then eat ye every man. His own vine. After you agree with me, mm. even if someone dies of a car accident, just say it's COVID, sorry. Oh! <laughs> hey! 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 We know this one. Hey! Hey! Just say COVID. When you record a certain number, I will give you money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit the target yeah. and we'll see. Mm. Now they started saying COVID related. Yeah. yeah. Did COVID exist? 100%. Let's go. <laughs> and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every Afterwards, yeah. I will take you and give you your own thing. Even churches became COVID compliant. Some churches, even in Nigeria, were promised to be given land afterwards. Wow. Yes. People were putting all these sanitizers by the doorstep. And all these, uh, you know, they would spray you before you get in. You would think it's the Holy Ghost. You know, just... <laughs> and the World Health Organization said what? We are going to have COVID-compliant venues. All they were trying to do was to limit churches. When the devil realized all of a sudden something is wrong, because all of a sudden there were people who thought you better angel only does prophecy. Hey, now they were waiting to see that's right. what he would do. Yeah. And they started thinking, but this guy can teach, huh? Yeah. Now I had them all in one location. They were not running away from home. Yeah, yeah, they were in yeah. front of a camera. Yeah. They were in front of a TV. Yeah. They couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. We caught them in one location yeah. seven days a week. Yeah. And everybody will be waiting. Can we have another broadcast? Can we have another? 
The devil realized, oh my God, this is a bad idea. Re press reverse. You know when, when, when you just want to go like press escape so that this thing can go. The Bible says if he had known, he would not have crucified the Lord of glory. If he had known, the devil makes some very drastic mistakes. All of a sudden, Japanese, Chinese, Roman Catholics, white people, black, Paul Gadot, everyone is tuned in. <laughs> and he said what? I will steal their money. Guess what? This ministry made more money during COVID than any other time in its history. Now, listen to me. We did not grow our income by 2%. No. By 10.8%. Over. Not by, I'm not even talking by, when we say, I'm talking about by times 10, rather. Times 10. That means if you were getting 100,000, yeah. we got a million. Yes. Yeah. If we're getting a million per month, we're getting 10 million. Right. The devil was thinking, my God, I thought these people would not attend service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the New Year's Eve, they say, no, you can't gather. No then we go in our sitting room, beam to the world, 10 million people watch. Yes. Yes. If we were in the building, it would have been 70,000 yeah. people. Watching. Yeah. They wanted to know, where are you? Exactly. People be like, yeah, he's, he's live now. He's on the, we want to hear what will happen next year. And all of them were listening, right. watching. So, read. Yes, sir. Uh, we're in 2 Kings 18, verse 31. Hezekiah, uh, hearken to Hezekiah, for thus said the king of Assyria, Assyria Make an agreement with me by a present and come out to me and then eat ye every man of his own vine mm -hmm. and everyone... Notice, of every his man of his own what? Own vine. Where have we gone now? To Noah. Uh, we are going back to what Matthew said. Mm. Just as the days of Noah. Yes. Mm. Ah. Mm. yes. During this lockdown, over 30%, it went by over 30%, correct, the, the statistics of people that died because of alcoholism. They went back to the vineyard. Yeah. And the Bible says, and Noah planted the vineyard. After the flood, there was no beer anyway. Noah started it. Hey. <laughs> you are not getting it. <laughs> there were wild grapes before that. Yeah. But after the flood, mm. remember every plant is gone. Yeah. The man gathered a few seeds. He took maybe into the ark. <laughs> It's like, let me do this on my own here. <laughs> it's more, small for myself. <laughs> Somebody under the influence of my voice. <laughs> you shall be delivered from every addiction. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So one thing you need to understand. The Assyrian is not a demon you can cast out in church. Oh, I know you didn't hear me now. He didn't hear me. It's not a, a demon you can just go like, yeah, come out now. Where are you, Assyrian? I'm here. Come out. No, say. It's not going to be like that. The Assyrian, there is an Assyrian king. Then there is the Babylonian king. Then there is the king of Persia or the prince of Persia. So these are three that are linked to Nimrod. You remember Daniel when he was stopped by the prince of Persia? That's the same spirit of Nimrod. Are you, are you right, getting right, this? Right, right. But I want to show you something. I want to show you let's something. Go, let's go. Some people will take time. Will take time. Le baru keve gush kagale torane. Imbraga duza vuliyase. Daniel 10, verse number 20. Daniel 10. In fact, finish what you were reading. Finish what you were reading. Verse number 32 of that. Last part of 31. Mm -hmm. And um, every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his cistern, Verse 32, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land. I will give you your own things. Don't worry. Just after this problem, your church will have its own land. Mm -hmm. 
And don't worry about it. If you were in trouble during these weeks, guess what we're going to give you? Loans. They are grants, in fact. You don't even need to return them. Where are you getting this money? I told you there should be an equilibrium. A certain of balance. If 20 million got missing, if 2 trillion went missing, what happened? I need to know, where did it go to? Yes, sir. Oh, your camera lost it, 2 billion. No problem. But who has it? It lost it, but the money should be somewhere else. They never showed us who has the money. Yet the Bible says the king of Assyria will say, I will take their wealth. Yes. Like eggs that were left or abandoned. The kings have left their countries abandoned. I will steal their wealth. So we know where the man went to. Mm -hmm. I said, where is the money coming from? From who's the story? Yeah. So you say money is coming from who? There are people who stole that money. That's why it says, I'll give you houses you don't build. Yeah. So who build the houses? Come on. The wicked. Bye. Come on. <laughs> I bought a property here in UK here for a few millions. And the person died for me to get that house. In Zimbabwe, when is Zimbabwe looking for a house? 14 bedroom. The white man died. And the children could not maintain it. So they said, we are selling it before we live in it. The one in the UK, the man didn't even live there. He couldn't even enter the house. He died before even living in there. The one in Zimbabwe died before he entered. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I will give you houses you did not build. They will be new. Yeah. Nobody has been in there. Yeah. But I will move you in there. They will, yes. I will just make sure they built it before they die. It's not like you will cause them to die. Yes, no. Sir, yes, they will think of building their own houses before they die. Uh -huh. hey, hey. Wow. Because I don't want you to struggle. Wow. Yeah. I decree and I declare. Yeah. We are reversing. Yeah. The spirit of Nimrod is being reversed. Yeah. Yeah. You shall have your own portion. Yeah. You shall have your own portion. Yeah. You shall have your own portion. Yeah. So he begins to give promises. So the devil always gives promises. Sit down. The devil always gives promises. I'll do this for you. I'll do this for you. Don't worry. I'll do this for you. And you can make it on your own. Hey. Oh, the biggest lie the devil will do is you can make it on your own. Yeah. Hey. You know all these years you are not making it on your own. That's right. But all of a sudden he gives you some kind of bravery. It's like beer. <laughs> It gives you a certain sense of less of a sense of you know lack of judgment. Mm. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know the road is there, but you're going like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens in a drunkard's mind? The whole thing is actually moving straight. <laughs> when he's going to this one, he's actually following the route. He's not like missing it. When you see him going like this, he's following where the, this thing is coming. <laughs> It's just not going the way the police want it to happen. <laughs> it should be a straight road like this. Nicely a straight road. Yeah. Yeah. But the guy is looking at it like this and going like... Yeah. He says, okay, stand on one leg. This is one leg. This is one leg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is really taking place? Yeah. I read today, this, this reporter was talking to this uh, man who is a um, psychologist or whatever the name is, and this guy is talking about what they discussed, right? Discovered that the have actually discovered that men are happier at the end of their lives. Ah, uh -huh. the, the end part of their life, like from 40 until they die, men are happier than women. A report have, that, that they, they did the research recently, and this woman came and said, No, that's a false report. And she screamed into the TV. She said, no, you know for a fact that women live longer than men. And this is a fact. It's a fact. Yeah. Women live longer than men. This is a fact. 
So you chose your statistics wrongly. You were choosing uh, maybe because men like to see their toys outside when they grow old. They have got four cars that they bought during their lifetime and they are enjoying just seeing it and are polishing this and polishing this. So they are enjoying. That's why. But if you measured just using, using statistics and facts, women live longer. Right. And the psychologist said, yes, ma'am. If a man is a woman who shouts like you, they are happier to die than this. You see, these people think it's a joke, right? This is not a joke. It was on news. I, I, we need to play it. I'll give you that to play. I'm telling you. So, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, men speaks of um, lives in a plush area, and this rich man uh, lives in a brilliant area. For those who have heard it, it's good. And, and this old man comes every time, every day, comes in the morning. So he says, I always see this person coming to my house every 8 a.m. I knew he was going to ring the bell. I even thought of removing the bell from my house. Because this old man, 8 a.m. every day on the dot, is knocking on the door, bringing the bell. And every time I have to remind him what he didn't want to hear. The man would ask, where is my wife? Is, he here? is she here? And the man would say, your wife died 20 years ago. Because he had amnesia. You know? Or oh, what is it? Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. So they would forget. They would do this. So he would go home. Early in the morning, 8. Where is my wife? Gone. I'm sorry, sir. Died 20 years ago. Every morning for two years. And the man said, I just thought of moving. He said, but I couldn't stand to leave him. Because I couldn't, I couldn't think of it. How would I live without seeing the smile on his face every time I remind him his wife is dead? <laughs> <laughs> So every, <laughs> every time he heard that your wife is gone, he'd be like, wow, wow. <laughs> and the following morning, he's back again. <laughs> so the guy said, I couldn't move. <laughs> I just like to see the smile on his face. <laughs> Let me tell you why these things like this, these jokes and all these responses exist in this day and age. Because we are taken we have taken the masculinity of women, of men, and put it on the masculinity of men. Even when we are training women, women now are more bold and preaching bolder than men because our men have lost their masculinity. So women, we cannot tell them to go low. We are telling the men to rise. Yes. Yes, sir. Go to every shop right now. You move into Asda right now. This, this one that is here, there is what is called uh, uh, these techies that they eat, you know. Uh, they are injected with Yes, that means it, it actually helps in the reduction of testosterone. Mm. Uh, all these gym things that you eat, these supplements you get women at the gym. Do you think they have estrogen? <laughs> <laughs> they have certain elements of testosterone. So you all of a sudden you act like a man. Even you to think, you, you are told you look like a man. You said, no, I'm not. No, it's not true. In your head, you are not. But your anatomy is being programmed to be like a man. So, listen to me. It's not so much, listen. The devil is doing it with our people not being aware of it. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That there is a plan behind it. Yeah. The yeah. plan is to yeah. go be, beyond what God has done. Yeah. Remember, he said, I will build the towers so that I can oppose God. You will not destroy us. We will use their rainbow. Oh, I wish I, I had people now. Are you flowing or you've gone home? I want to show you something in Daniel 10. I know some people who know scripture would get it. But some would not know they will not get it. Verse number 20. How many know the prince of Persia? Yes, Ever heard of the prince of Persia? Yes, sir. And you know the verse, right? <laughs> The prince of Persia prevented me 
For 21 days. This is Daniel, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where you end. Hear this. He said, Daniel 10, verse 20. There's something that is greater than the prince of Persia in the same verse. Mm -hmm. Daniel 10, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? Mm. And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of, of Gracia shall come. When I'm gone, what happened? The prince of Gracia. The prince of what? Gracia. Gracia would what? Will come. Will come. See, nobody talks about the prince of Gracia. Okay. Right. So he says, I fought the prince of Persia. Yes, yes. But there is one that is coming. Nimrod is simply capturing Babylon, Persia, yes. Assyria, because he is the Assyrian. But out of his loins will come Gracia. You have not heard anything about Gracia right now. I'm not going now. <laughs> but notice what even, the, even, even Michael said. There is another one greater than this one I've just fought for you. Gracia is coming. And the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, they dovetail. So if you are reading the book of Daniel, you are reading the book of Revelation. Yes, if you are reading the book of Revelation, you are reading the book of Daniel. Yeah. Revelation 17, verse number 1. We are going to go there fast. Yes, sir. Yeah. Revelation 17, verse 1. I want you to hear it clearly. Uh -huh. And there came one of the seven angels, what? Uh -huh. which had the seven vials, uh -huh. and talked with me, mm. saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee. Are you hearing me around the world? Yes. Something big is happening now. Yeah. He said, show me what? I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore mm. that sitteth upon the many waters. The great prostitute. Chaya like Kuska. The Bible talks about the clothes of a prostitute. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's in your Bible. The clothes of a prostitute. Come on. That means even your fashion will determine whether you are a prostitute or not. Oh, oh, right. Right. oh yeah. You don't have to tell me you're not a prostitute. I need to look at what you're wearing and just know this is a prostitute. You're not even a prostitute in the making. You are one. Why do you think it's okay to show your whole body? Why do you think? Why do you think this, these things that they now call hipsters? Is this your hipster? They call them tights now. Even your head. You are hearing it's a tight. You are the light of the world. In your head, you're going to a shop and say, can we buy those tight? Then you, you wear your tight. What does it mean tight? It means it's tight. Your brain is also tight. What were you thinking when you were buying this? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I'm not blaming anybody here. And if you're watching me right now and you're wearing those tights, listen to me. Don't worry about us. Where you are, you're not a prostitute yourself. According to our Bible, you are. Come on. Who do you, isn't supposed to be, this is supposed to be for your husband. Why is it there? Why is it now in the public? Same with men. You go to the gym, you want to show on the, they, they are always on the, with the, with the, they're tight, you know. Is it because you just want to look like that? If you wanted to look like that, you would be doing it in front of a mirror in your house. That means you want to show somebody. I'm not saying it's, it's basically a woman you want to show. Maybe a man. It came out wrong. I didn't want it to say it like that. Maybe that's what you wanted to show. Because Nimrod's idea was to parade himself. Ishtar's idea is to parade yourself. Every time there is a show off you are trying to present. <laughs> and then Jezebel. What happened to Jezebel? She Colored. Ah. 
I know you're not hearing me. Let me just show you this one because, because some people will never hear. I didn't want to touch this, you know. I really didn't want to touch this because this is a so, so spot. Mm. Jeremiah 4 verse number 30. Yes, sir. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 4 verse 30. Mm -hmm. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What will thou do? What will you do? Thou, thou clothest, clothest thyself with crimson. Mm. Thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. Ah. Thou, thou rentest thy face with painting. In vain shall thou make thyself fair. Oh. Thy lovers will despise no. thee. No. They will seek thy life. No, no, no. Since your face is painted, yeah. that's makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Since you are trying to make yourself fairer. Yeah. See, there's a big difference between makeup and mess up. <laughs> then there's a big difference between makeup to cover the blemishes mm -hmm. and makeup to make yourself better. In the sense of your body is now changed. We call that 3D. Yeah. Hey. Come on. Come on. You know your nest is flat. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when it comes out, <laughs> Ricky one is a child. Like, of course. <laughs> Straight like this, you wonder, where, where did you get this nose today? Yeah, come on. The moment you remove, you wash it. And it's so amazing how the world is now turned now where you see a woman actually advertising before and after. Like, come to my um, first beat. They call it first beat. First beat. You see, before you go. And they are actually advertising. And when they advertise, it's so funny that the people that are featured in it actually chose to be there. To show themselves ugly and themselves looking better. Yeah, yeah. And you go like, this is not the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, this is not the same person. Yeah. Now the Bible says, you decus yourself with painting of your faces. Mm -hmm. So that you look fairer. Yeah. But there is a time where your lovers shall despise you with your fame. Mm -hmm. Revelation 17. Hmm. Ah, le kuska dele mando frena kuske dales. Ah, I don't know what you are seeing. Ah, yellow kuska de. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Revelation 17. Been waiting for a long time. All right. Revelation 17, we're on verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Notice here. It says the kings of the earth have committed what? Fornication. Fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication. Ah. And the inhabitants of the no, no. earth. It simply means what has happened is Nimrod will come in and begin to cause nations to be in a relationship with him. And all my princes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kings. Mm. So we made a certain pact with them. Yes, yes, yes. And what will happen? And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. You don't know why everyone is accepting the same nonsense. Everyone. Oh. They say, do this. Everyone will like, okay, yes, okay. you're going to do it. One comedian came out and he had a lint remover just to try and prove what is, has what is this lockdown done for us. And he just stood outside a shop. And when someone was coming towards him, he just goes like this. And everyone went like this. And then he would do, say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone is obeying. Right. Yeah. Nimrod was testing your obedience. Yeah. Nah, nah, you're not right. getting me. Right. Right. You're not getting me. Right. What do you think will happen right now if something hits? Mm -hmm. uh, we will not be told to go on lockdown. We'll go on lockdown on our way. We are marching back to our houses. We will, be, we will march in joy. We will even force the president. Why are you not locking down the country? 
We have seen it in all these nations. Yes, sir. Where the president was tr we're, we're trying to, to, make, to mitigate whatever. These circumstances were too much for them. Especially Africa had a problem. If you lock people in, they are struggling. Mm. They don't have anything to, food, to, to eat. There's no food to eat. If you get them out, COVID. And there is no middle ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now imagine, while we were doing like that, opposition parties came out. Yeah. This president. Yeah. They should listen immediately yeah. to people outside. Because people are dying. If they don't lock people, then they lock them up. Opposition say, why are they locked up? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They should come out. Yeah. Come out now. Yeah. So everything you do, in, out, in, out, in, out. But let me tell you something. They tested your obedience. Was COVID there? Yes. Still there. But now, they learn now. Say, yeah, you want to eat? Put your mark here. You preach it, you say some few things until hunger catches you. Then you're like, ah, but I don't think it's... It's triple six, like triple yeah. six, like a real number. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have the tattoo, and you put it on your forehead, you put it here, everything will be there. You feel like it's okay. It's not like, it's not the number, number, number. I mean, Christian said, yes, you need a, you need a vaccination. Other Christian said, no. Yeah. Other one saying, yes. Yeah. Let me tell you something. As a preacher, don't preach it. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not getting it, but I think you are getting it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Revelation 17. We're about to finish. Yes, sir. Well, I'm verse 3 now. Uh -huh. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. Mm. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy. Yeah. Having seven heads and ten horns. Verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet mm. color. They're saying this is the woman, yeah. This is the, the harlot. And if you look in your Bible, it is in capital letters, all oh, this, the great harlot, mother of prostitutes. In other words, anybody who is in the profession of prostitution. Now, some people say, thought, Jezebel is some woman somewhere. It says, for you have allowed this woman, Jezebel, to teach in the church. In other words, Jezebel is the wife of a pastor. No, no, no. Let me just say something here. Okay. No, 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 no. You're not getting me. Ah. I don't know if you are getting this. Are you getting this around the world? Are you getting this? Revision to twent. But I have this again as you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel. Who calls herself a prophetess? Are you getting this now? Are you getting it? By a teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. Are you getting this? In your head, I've given her time to repent of her immorality, but she's unwilling. Says, I even, that means this is not the devil now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a person who can actually change. Mm. Oh. So the spirit of Nimrod is even in the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So when you hear that she is giving people to sexual immorality, you think, okay, but I've never been taught that. No. There's something you were taught. How many churches teach that you need a, you need a man, a man needs to be able to take care of you, blah, 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 blah. all these things. They are very good. But when a man becomes a financial plan, How many requests are there in the churches right now for marriage? I want to be married. Mm. Man of God. Oh, we received a letter recently. It says, man of God, the men are not recognizing me. Oh. <laughs> Just last week, yeah. among the letters for prayer, I was like, are you, are you invisible? <laughs> <laughs> men... <laughs> Men don't see me. Yeah. What do you mean don't see you? <laughs> huh? They just look at you like, oh, you are not here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Says I have this against you. You have allowed this woman to preach. So you think, so Jezebel is a mother of all disobedience. Right. It's a mother of all disobedience. Right. It comes consistently to Jezebel. Right. Consistently it's happening. Consistently. And churches are full of these women who are there. They want to teach it. Mm. They want to announce the gospel. Brilliant. But they are not matured enough to become pastors. But because they think I'm a wife of a pastor, I should stand and preach. No, you're not mature. Sit down. Your pampas will fall off. Yeah. You are a baby in Christ. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, now. Says the painting. They painted their faces. They painted their faces. The concentration is beauty. Yes. That you do two hours in front of a mirror. Yeah. And when the preaching goes beyond 30 minutes, uh, I need a sweet, I need energy. You had two hours for energy. Open. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Is that true? Oh, some, some are here giving testimonies right now. <laughs> you wonder what are they doing? You just want to go somewhere to come out. You want, you want to go, you, you want to, go to, to church and you finish. You're just waiting. Waiting for money. Are we going? Two minutes. <laughs> Fifty. <laughs> Meanwhile, mascara is being applied. <laughs> <laughs> Says your beauty has become vanity. Mm. Yeah. If you wear a dress and that dress is too nice to roll on the floor when God causes you to, mm. you are too important. Mm. Don't, you're too important for God. See, there are people who are too important for God to use. Yeah. He can't use you. You are too big. You have become your own God. <laughs> we have seen it with people who are ministering in this ministry. Whether men, women, you can tell that pride has gotten in. To say move like this, show people you actually, there is a menutics, analytics, apologetics. You used to combine these three. The art of preaching, the science of preaching, the defense of preaching. Join it together. On the art of preaching, they act like Baptists, they just stand here like this. (laughs) God's relative. Yeah. Yeah. Ephesians says, no, that's okay. If your crowd likes this, yeah. no problem. <laughs> but if you're in an action church, yeah. you realize one thing. Emotions are the vehicle by which the anointing comes out. I want you to research all men of power. All of them have got Mannerisms. Some will wave their hand like this. Some will kick in the air. Some will move. Some will take their jacket and throw it. Men of power use emotions to deliver. Why? Because emotions are not evil. Emotions are the transport, the vehicle by which the anointing comes out to effect a change. Men that are void of emotions are men of no power. Jesus, the epitome of a man. You know, yeah, if something happens, men will be like, I don't cry, my man. <laughs> yeah, your mother is dead. Yeah. <laughs> the wife, who is not the child of the mother who died, will be rolling on the for the mother-in-law. The men will just be like, oh, my old woman. <laughs> Inside, He's screaming. But outside, I want to present a certain. Yet the epitome of being a man, Jesus, when he heard Lazarus die, the Bible says he cried. Not even cried, wept. (laughs) You, from (laughs) Tegwede. Just... 
Just down here. Yeah. Nothing. From Pumalanga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't cry. We are men. You. <laughs> Jesus cried. He wept. Yes, sir. He released his emotions. Mm. And from his emotions, he spoke words. Yes, we yes. go up to wake him up. Mm. Because his weeping brought with him emotions, vehicles, by which the grace to heal came out. Yes. So he knew the grace to heal was now coming out. He says, we are, we are waking him up. Don't worry, he is asleep. <laughs> Imagine when you become emotional to call yes, a dead yes, man yes. a sleeping man. Men who are used in healing are men who are emotional. You can't heal a person you don't love. Because you have to go there and feel the message of God. Feel sorry for that person. How they are in this condition. Why are they like this? I'm telling you secrets of healing the sick. Our oh, session is up. <laughs> you have to love those people. When I'm faced with somebody who is blind, I even said in New York, remember, I said, no, we don't do any healing unless we have, um, you know, healing institute has to be here, you register. I said, as I was on my way out of the building, ah, oh, I felt sorry for the man. I took my mantle, put on his ears, his eyes, blew on him. Just yesterday, he was in the hospital, right? He went to the doctor, yesterday. And the doctor said, what are you doing here? You can see. The doctor. <laughs> hey! What is really taking place? Emotions. Mm. In the life of Jesus, it was called the Splankna. Yes. Mm. Yes, sir. In the stines of an animal that is on the, on the sacrificial table, mm. he was moved from his intestines. Mm. Pushed. On. Imagine going like this and you are pulled mm. to another direction. On. Why? When you have emotions, you love the person, you are pulled towards their direction to heal them. Amen. I'll show you something and then we close. Read it, read it. Yes. Verse number. On verse 4. Mm -hmm. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color mm -hmm. and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, mm -hmm. having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Yes. Verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, mm. the great the mother of harlots. Where do we find Babylon? Babel. Who is the father of Babel? Who created it? Nimrod. Yes. So whenever you see Babel, you're seeing Babylon. Yes. Come on. Have you noticed that it is one church right now, there's one church on earth, that would, when they are reading their rites or when they're reading their gospel, they read it in Latin, in, yes. uh, in all the Roman languages, and then in English. Babel is the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel means to babble forth. They will bring out messages. They will speak. And when they were speaking, God said, I will stop them from doing this. Because they were really profaning the word of God. And they were into lesbianism. And God said, I don't want them to understand each other ever again. Why would God be angry to the extent where he says, no more talking? That means what was being done there was crazy. Let's go. The mystery, and the word mystery there, it is the word mysterion. It doesn't mean say the secret Babylon. No. Mysterion means esoteric wisdom, esoteric knowledge. Something you get not because you have a password. But it is available by and entered by those who can open their eyes. So you don't need to be like, I'm giving you a password, my brother. No. You open for yourself. So when I'm speaking like this to somebody who is watching, they say, no, it's not exactly what it means. Yeah, there's nothing wrong about anything to do with being a lesbian or gay. Guess what you do? 
You can argue with them. They will not understand it. Why? Because this is a mystery. So people will not understand what I'm saying now. Because it's a mystery. Yes, yes, yes. It's a mysterion. It's not a secret. It's a mysterion. You need to be called into that realm yes, to see yes, it. Yes. So your eyes are closed when you don't see here. Yes. This is the reason the things we say are so important. Yes. yes. Mystery. Babylon, the great, the mother of hallows and abominations mm. of the earth. The Verse mother six. of hallows. So right there, if you see the word hallowed there, it is a prostitute. Come on. It can be a political prostitute. All the normal, this thing that they are practicing, these little men and guys, you know, gigolo, and all these uh, the women that are prostituted, men that are doing so. Guess what? All they are practicing is little level of halotry. There is a high one. Have you noticed that if you tell somebody, don't do this, they'll be thinking, but what? What's the issue? What's the problem? Why would it be a problem? Because they don't know. So remember, we, are, we fight not against principalities and powers. We, we fight not against flesh, but against principalities and powers. So the person, when they are talking to you, you don't know they are blinded. <laughs> Imagine we're talking about, um, what's the name? Steve, Steve Harvey. He said, can a man be a friend to a girl? Only men know it. Women don't. We don't, be, we don't become friends. Men don't become friends. They never. They have a plan. Anytime you let your God loose, we are in. I said, there's an agenda. All these are men talking. It's only women who say, no, he's my best friend. Men know, as long as you keep doing this, you are, you are food. You are on the menu. And men become friends only when they realize, if I go straight, you say no. Oh, I'm revealing secrets that men are like, well, leave us alone. So they go through the friend, friend route. And the moment you agree, you are friends. Ha! This is when they know, this is now time to chop. Yeah. <laughs> so you say, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Uh -huh. Men don't care being friend zone. <laughs> you are the one who thinks so, that they care. That's why people say, how did you get married? Oh, you just started as a friend. We never thought it was going to end anyway. <laughs> you never knew. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ask every man here. Yeah. Well, I see women quiet now. <laughs> you are the only one who didn't know. Yeah. The man was expecting that to happen. Yeah. And then you start asking all these kind of questions. What do you think about my boyfriend? Oh, he's, yeah, you know, whatever you think, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it. Ah, oh, okay. Meanwhile, he knows this boyfriend is rubbish. The real person who is serious is me, but I'm a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play around with these things. So it's a mystery. So he clouds the population with information and removes them from information and puts a different information. So you think you know. Well, what you know is not useful now in this juncture. Are you flowing? The mystery what? Mystery? Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon. Now you're being told the Babylon we are talking about might not be Iraq. There is another Babylon coming, which is a mystery. Mm -hmm. Not the one from Iraq. Yes, sir. But there is another Babylon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I need to end here now. Let's go. Okay, read it. Yes, sir. I'm not going to with this. The great, the mother of Halots. He wants to, he wants to repeat this mother of Halots part. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't want to talk about that. I have a series on this called yes. The Clothes of Harlots. Mm. The Attire of Harlots. Yeah. Mm. We will deal with this fashion thing in that series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will see it from the Bible. Mm. What the Bible actually says about these things you wear tight. Mm. Wear them, but wear them away. Yeah. Have you ever worn a, a swimming costume going to church? Yeah. Even you, you know, this is not right. 
How on earth do you expose your thigh up to here? In the name of wearing a short. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. Mystery. Even you, you know, when you were wearing it, you were not mistaken. You knew exactly what you want to expose. It might be a muscle. It might be your leg. You knew what you were doing. This is not this. this don't, don't start me on this one. You definitely knew. Everything you were doing, you knew. Do it, do it, do it. like, I just, I'm just wearing anything I like. You think I wore this suit because I just like the suit? I measured myself like this suit here. I think if it's on TV, it might mean this and this. I, I had to think about these things. Yeah. Otherwise, it couldn't be this brand. I just go and take what you say. What am I wearing? So just any, and it's okay. But what size are you? It doesn't matter. Just measure. You know, like around 40, 45, 43. It's okay. It's so it just doesn't matter. And then you go, you tighten it like this. You put it like this. You walk. No, you weighed it. Yeah. This might make it. I just wear my clothes for me. It's a lie. Some of you only bath because there are other human beings around you. <laughs> now, during, during this COVID, uh, there is a guy who invented a certain jail. I don't know if you heard him. He invented a jail just to, you know, because... Lack of water, so they were, but they realized now the jail was more expensive than the bucket of water. Mm. So it was now counterproductive. Mm. But they were trying to produce that at very low cost so that oh. someone would just come and like a sanitizer kind of thing yeah. and you're done, you go. Oh, brilliant idea. This, you hear this? Yeah. Brilliant idea. Yeah. Imagine if bathing was just done by a laser, I would subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta do is go through a laser like this. Done. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. We've no, we no time for this shower every day like this, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Very time consuming. Yeah. Very time consuming. We are the real people that God created the ark for, not for water. Go to the river right now. It's written, beware of this water. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy created a... Because what we do is we are so... We need to do this. We need to do this. When we wake up... When you wake up at night, we have already started at full waking. Oh, yeah, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. So there's always a reason why you do things. Yes, sir. All right. All right, let's, let's go. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's out of curiosity, I looked up uh, the word halots there. Um, it's actually the word porn. So it reads the mother of porn. And the mother of pornography. Wow. Wow. Okay, if you, if you want to see this, right? I want to look at the word sorcery, right? Sorcery in the Bible, so that you, you get something. Because some people, when you tell them stuff, right? Look at the word sorcery. Are you there? Yeah. Oh. Luski bali noshka. Raduski bahondali sikate. Oh my God. By their sorcery. Are you are you there? Yes, uh, it's in the book of Revelation. They deceived the what? Revelation 18, 13. Revelation 18, 23. 18, 23. 23. Okay. And the light of a candle shall shine no more mm -hmm. at all in thee, mm -hmm. and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more mm. at all in thee. For, the, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Click the sorcery yes, and sir. hear what it says. We so are waiting for you, word, sir. Um, pharma Ooh, pharmakia. pharmakia means pharmacies. Wow. It is not witchcraft. Whoa. It says by the distribution and administration of drugs. Oh. Uh, you didn't hear me. 
I'm not going to talk about the past two years. I'm not doing it. By their pharmacies, they would deceive the world. Only a few. Africa would say we have injected people with. They'll say no. As long as it's not from uh, this company and this company and this company, we will not accept. By their pharmacia. Nimrod deceived the world. <laughs> so when you read it, it says sorcery. If you click it, it goes to the Greek pharmacies. Buy the drugs. Deceived the world. So you'll be moving there, you're thinking you're awake. Let's go back to Revelation. I'm about to finish. Revelation 17, verse 6. I have a lot of work to do today. Yes. Revelation 17, verse 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the, with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Verse 7. And the angel said unto me, mm -hmm. Wherefore this thou marvel, mm -hmm. I will tell thee the mystery of the woman ah. and of the beast. Now I'm about to tell you. The mystery of that woman I said with ten heads. with all. Yes. I'm about to tell you. Yes, yes. What is the mystery? It says that mystery Babylon. It's a location. It's a city. Whoa. But I'm telling you it's a mystery. You need to understand. You need to enter to understand yes, where it yes, is. Yes, yes, yes. But I told you it is seven years. Don't worry about it. I'm about to tell you what it means. Mm -hmm. There, well, let's go. Yes, sir. And of the beast that carrieth her, which mm. had the seven heads and the ten horns. Verse mm. 8. Uh. The beast that thou sowest was, was and is not, and it shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. So it came in, it disappeared, yeah, 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 yeah. and it's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are Roman empires. They are. Come on, yes. There is the Assyrian that is not that did not come in. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, then there are many, but this Roman one entered, was destroyed, came back in. Mm -hmm. So there are regions where it became popular and it then faded, oh. and then now it's coming back in. Remember, there was time the laws were coming from them. Yes. Oh, you didn't get it. Do you realize that way back, if you wanted to sin, you would pay the Roman Catholic Church? That's right. Mm. That's right. Oh, yeah. You go and pay first for your sin. Mm. They forgive you before you commit it. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. <laughs> Imagine going to pay, you say, um, how much is um, adultery? You say, uh, 10,000. Let me go into work. I come back. <laughs> uh, I want to steal. What do we do? You say, oh, 2,000. What, how much do you want to steal? Of? Then you pay. <laughs> That's why the problem here with Martin Luther. Not Martin Luther King. Martin Luther the white man. He went and wrote poems why the Roman Catholic is wrong. Yeah. On the doorpost at college. Boom. There was a problem. Why? Because he realized it's wrong to pay for sin. Jesus paid for them. Let's read. Nine. Yes, I want you to listen to that nine. Verse nine. Mm -hmm. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. Now, what I'm about to tell you is not for fools. Mm -hmm. The seven heads. Put them up there. Put them up for, before you read. Put the map up there. The map. I gave you maps. Yep. Just put any you like. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, read it. The seven heads are mm. seven mountains. There's seven mountains. They are only in one city. And that's the Vatican. Oh, oh, you can go to any city you want. There is no city with seven mountains. Except that. It says it will be a mystery, Babylon. It's not the Babylon you used to know. This one is only for people with the heads, with wisdom. Read that part again, verse 9. Mm. Verse I don't want to be continuing this, you know, it'll be a problem for you. And, uh -huh. and here is the mind which mm. hath wisdom. Mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Verse 10. Mm. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen. And one is. We are going to talk about that another time. Just to prove to you this is real what we are saying. 
But anyway, before we do that, let's go to Jeremiah 13. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you have that. Credo Hill, Vimino Hill, Escaline, Capitoline, Palatine, Colian, and Aventine. You, you go in there. Then you will see Tiber Island on that. There will be other heroes there. But this border you see there, that's it. No Kululu, no, no Kalala. So that mystery Babylon will be controlling the world from there. And it is from this same place here that the Pope went to, to, to Dubai at the invitation of the Islamic Council mm. to go and speak and encourage all world religions yes. to be one. Mm. This, he said, we are brothers. Yes, yes. We worship the same God. No, we don't. Never. No, we don't. No. It's an embarrassment because the Roman Catholic was coming clean. It was going the other direction. Yes, yes. But this Pope who is there now has turned everything upside down. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, read it. Jeremiah 13, from mm -hmm. verse 1. Verse 26. Verse 26, yes, sir. Jeremiah 13, verse 26. Mm. Therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face, upon the face, that thy shame may, may appear. Verse mm. 27. I have seen thine adulteries mm. and thy names, mm. the lewdness. The lewdness, the openness. You, you, you are allowing nakedness. Oh. You are allowing nakedness. Wow. Mm -hmm. What happens? Since we just want to know if this is real Babylon. And thine abominations on the hills in the fields. Woe wow. unto thee. We finished already. Wow. Wow. Where are you doing this abomination? Okay. You're sitting on hills. Mm. Which hills? Revelation said the seven hills. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you are getting what I'm trying to say here. And now they are understanding everything. Now it's okay. Gay people accept them. Yeah, yeah, Give them yeah, yeah. the rights. Yeah. Let them marry. The yeah, queen, the, the, the Pope is talking now. Yeah. Yeah. The one who is there, at least he was yeah. saying no. Yeah. Yeah. This one is saying it's okay. Yeah. Let's give them the law. Let's do it. We are one. He even kiss the Quran. Raise your hands wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, sir. we destroy the spirit of Nimrod. Yes. 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 Ah. It will not be able to catch our children, touch yes. our children, yes. hold our children, yes. ransom. Yes. That spirit will not be able to do so. Yes. We empower every man and woman of God out there yes. to hold on to the horns of the altar. Yes. And say we will not go until we destroy every work of the enemy. Yes, yes, yes. We are going deeper for the deeper life. Yes, yes. Everything we are doing now, we know we are not ignorant of his yes, devices. Yes. We are work. We are we have been awoken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, and now we know we pray for our nations around the world. We pray for Africa. We pray for Asia, South America, America, Australasia, India, all these locations, all these yes. continents around the world. We pray for Europe that every man begins to open their eyes. Every yes. woman opens yes. their eyes yes. Yes. to see something is happening on the scene. That the Bible is not wrong. It is not coincidence. Yes. The Lord has spoken it and it is about to perform it. Yes. That whatever we are seeing on earth today, it is because the Lord spoke it. Yes. And it's the doer of it. And when the enemy tries to come like a flood, the power of God will raise up a standard. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare every finance that should be used, anything that should be used for the kingdom. Every one of these people who are watching me and who are here, who are watching me around the world on Zoom, on TV, on Miracle TV, on Good News TV, on Facebook, YouTube, all of you, you shall be given money with a mission. Money with a purpose. Because the time is short. I decree and declare as a prophet. It is done now. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray. 
Imrangola Jose Taida Bo Rekazalo Shete Imangro Tali Gozeva Liano Mangrekete Imalo Zakulamo Merikalo Kate Deli Inzalu Jalung Grekata In Jesus might name Imagine what the devil has hijacked. Yes. And imagine how we have been blinded even in the church. Yes, that the things we have accepted are not so. Yeah. It's only when the gospel light gets into you. You kind of like, look, what was I doing with my life? I thought it was okay. Why was I even thinking it was okay? Why would I be acting like this? What has happened? The light of the gospel, when it dawns on you, you start waking up. Wait a minute. There are more important things than this. To me, the gospel is important. Very important. The gospel is important. It's my life. It's basically what I live for. You can find me sitting down. You just say one verse. We will not leave. You want to be my friend? Talk the gospel. I can have a... An option of talking about the natural, just two or three, to spice up the spiritual in a certain way. Like I have to say hi, I have to say hello. I have to say, what car are you driving? Oh, Mercedes Benz. Well, thank the Lord. God is back. So one thing you have to understand about me, the reason why you, Jay, can be close to me, it's not just because he's my son. It's because there is something he discovered in his father. Mm, yes. I told you uh, when, when my father spoke to UJ, he said, you know why I love your father? And UJ said, remain quiet, but of course, he says like, mm, mm. He said, the way he loves the word is the reason why I love him. That we can sit down and discuss the word. Go deeper in the word. So this is the reason why I love him. One thing you know, I'm not a wish wish guy. I'm very straightforward. If, if I don't like a thing, I don't like it. You can ask your mother, same thing. I don't, there's no, there's no, I don't, I don't wait to discuss with my wife somewhere secretly when something has gone wrong. Right there on the spot. We address it there. There's no, there's no corner place we'll talk when we get home. No. If you did this in public, it is addressed there. Not to embarrass you, but so the other people can learn. On the spot. You also, I have no office to meet you. I don't do counseling. So we're not going to go behind the doors and discuss something. No. If it is supposed to be taught in the Word, I have to teach it there in the Word. Yes, sir. There are things, of course, that are secretive to me. That I would say, oh, this one, I'll, I'll address it here. But when it comes to principles of the word, they have to be in there. Yeah. So yeah, the trick is simple. I remember I was very close to my mom before she went home to be with the Lord. Very prayerful woman. And everyone you see around the world, these millions who are watching now, and now a reason, the reason is simple. All of you, the reason is simple because of a woman. Barely five feet tall. Barely. But mountains big and small crumbled when she prayed. And that woman, I loved you so much. And when I got married, I had a problem. Because I love my mother. I didn't know what to do. What if they don't really jail with my wife? Immediately what I did was simple. I ignored the whole process. But when prophet has realized this is the opportunity, she realized where my love is. Before she came in, where was the love on this woman? So she went to that woman and became the friend there more than I was close to my mother. I would get on the phone with my mother and say, Mom, say, where's prophet? And my mom would never come back to me on the phone. Say, can you tell prophet I love him? 
So he's here, I'm like, it's okay, give, just tell him. Same thing, my father did the same. What happened? What was the trick prophetess used? She realized when she entered, there was some focus I had to my parents, to my mom. So what did she do? She went to that side. So when you are my son, don't think I'm going to love you because you wear a nice suit. No, no sir. You look at the thing that I devote myself to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is this gospel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love the God who I yes, love. Yes, I, listen, I have no option but to love you. Yes, sir. I love everyone. But to really devote myself to you is what do you spend 99% of your soul, your life in? Is it the gospel? If it is the gospel, we meet there. I wake up early in the morning. I'm already in the gospel. Two days ago, 5 a.m. Dealing with scriptures. 5 a.m. Had to sleep, wake up, do what I needed to do to prepare, bath, all this, prepare in order to come here. So how do you touch your man of God? If he's a man of God, when you devote yourself in the word, your man of God will devote his life to praying for you. He will always give you an opportunity. He will always meet you. He will always greet you. You always know, this one is with me. But if you like to be hugged, for the sake of being hugged, you have a problem. Until you love the God I love. Yes, sir. I don't know if you're getting this now. Yes, the spirit of deception has entered the churches. Mm. Nimrod is not outside because Jezebel is now on the pulpit. So Jezebel is not outside there. He has entered now. Yeah. Yet Nimrod, where is he? He's in the president's houses. Non-state actors, people who are not even political, is entered. I told you I was in attending the inauguration of uh, William Ruto. And as I was standing there, I realized president's first row, president's second row, vice president yeah. and ministers. And I was maybe in the seventh row somewhere. And I'm the one who prophesied this, this coming into power. Right. And I realized when they were standing up, president standing up, vice president standing up, in the second row where presidents were, Aliko Dangote is also there. Where did he get the, where, had he ever been voted for political? Never. Just rich man. Money got him there. But he was interested in the nations. Mm -hmm. So the nations recognized him. He was instrumental somewhere. So they recognized him. What are you being instrumental in? This time where people are being deceived by the spirit of Nimrod. It's now time to rise. It's yes, no longer time to wait. Yes, sir. That's not here. Today I can't come to church. Have you noticed that every time the spirit of Nimrod comes to you, you will leave church? No, 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 you're not hearing. Have you ever realized that if you are really frustrated or depressed, man is not there, or angry, the first thing that suffers is God. Be like, I'm not going to church today. I'm just not going. And immediately you begin to justify your action. That it's not like every day people have to go to church. It's not like if I don't go, I'm a sinner. Nimrod is talking through you. Because now you know Something is not in sync with God. Mm. And I can't be in his presence. Mm. So you think it's a decision you make because of something. No, you are no longer in the presence of God. Every time you make a decision that is contrary to the gospel, the spirit of blindness has entered you. So you're no longer making clear decisions. But I decree and declare, your money will be used for the best. Yes. I decree and declare, your plans will be right. Yes. I decree that you will not waste your money on things that are not for God. Yes, sir. Right now, as I'm speaking right now, people around the world are tithing and giving their offering right this minute. On your screen, it is already appearing. Go and give on your screen right this minute. Power is changing hands. Power is changing hands. We shall be a people dedicated to this God. Yes, sir. We are no longer playing. There is no more playground. Yes, sir. Right. The gospel shall be preached to the four corners of the world, to the ends of the world. Right now, you can go right this minute. Go and give your tithing and your offering right now. Go and give right now, especially this week. After all this, the completion of this series, you can actually say to God, I don't want to be blinded. And this is not just an offering, it is my seed. 
that I anoint my eyes with eye sorrow. From this seed, my eyes are anointed with eye sorrow. I'm beginning to see clearly. I'm beginning to see clearly. I cannot be deceived in the name of Jesus. Yes, the spirit yes. of Nimrod is not here with me. Yes. The return of Nimrod is for the world, not for me. Yes. I'm covered. I'm not ignorant. Yes. I've opened my eyes. Yes. I've removed the scales from my eyes. Yes. Yes. I've reached a certain level in the name of Jesus. I shall see. I will hear clearly, instantly, accurately. Yes. I'll hear from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and we declare. The power of God yes. will be available in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something as you're giving your tithe. Remember when Obama had to light the, the, the whole White House with lights, yes. rainbow? Yes. Yes. That was the 26th of June. Oh. <laughs> I want you to understand. You can, and it's, it's a rainbow. Look at that rainbow. We can't use it. Somebody hijacked it. Mm. What really happened? And he began to use the colors of the rainbow. Why? Because it's a sign I will not destroy the world again. Mm. For whatever reason. Mm. So it is a sign of rebellion. Yes. If you look in what is called Inanna and the Shikadi today, it says she stretches herself like a rainbow. She stretches herself like a rainbow. And the eyes are mouth colored. So she says we will do whatever we need to do. She stretches herself like that. It was a rebellious thing. Imagine the symbol of God's mercy. You now use it as the symbol of God, of your revenge. Mm. Wow. And remember, he was a hunter, so he was using a bow and an arrow. Mm. And the one he uses as his symbol is the bow. Mm. Although this one is a rainbow. Mm. Uh, you're not getting this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So every time when you see these things happening, understand every revelation you receive Every series you receive, when you are giving your offering, don't just throw your offering. Get to the points of that offering and say, God, I will not be caught unawares. Mm. I'm part and parcel yes. of those who are opening their eyes. Yes. So my tithe, my money will be used for God. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and complete that. And we'll put Pastor Ricky on stage to speak to you about other things that are coming. We love you so very much. See you again next week. Love you. Yeah.